Second language, English model paper for public exam, class 8. Let us begin. Answer the following questions from 21 to 28 in the space provided. 21. Read the given passage and answer the given questions. Two marks. Now this is from the chapter in your text. All you have to do is take a pencil in your hand and read the paragraph carefully. Now for class 8 most of you have already read the chapter and your teachers have taught you. A. The emperor has no clothes on at all. Who said this? Now with a pencil you go back to the paragraph and underline the child said it. So the key word is the child. But you try to extend your answer by writing a sentence b what happened when the emperor reached the balcony so you have to go back to the paragraph and you will be able to see the answer that the crowd stopped to cheer Now for those who are not really good in English and creating sentences, you go back to the paragraph and you can use your pencil, always use a pencil when reading to mark out the main points. You can begin with the capital letter, a child is heard crying out with laughter, look look daddy, the emperor has no clothes at all so the answer is in the paragraph itself so those who are really not good in creating sentences you can use that and then you can put a full stop exactly you can use the sentence from the paragraph so a sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop so you must try to write it in a more better order without any grammatical mistakes or you can write who said this a little child said that the emperor had no clothes on at all so when you're answering you have to answer in the past participle so that is the other way to answer. There are many ways to answer the question. Now the other question was, what happened when the emperor reached the balcony? The answer is right here. All you have to do is change the verb form. There was pin drop silence. You write there in capital letters. That begins the sentence and instead of using the auxiliary verb is you write was there was pin drop silence that's how you would answer twenty two read the paragraph or read the passage given below and answer the given questions two marks so this is from Luther Burke Bank 
It is very simple. Most of you should know the answer. It is more easier than to, to read the passage and answer. How do you say Luther Birkbeck's genius is useful for the life of common man and other fields? So, how do you say Luther Birkbeck's genius? So, the answer is right in front of you. Luther Birkbeck, you have to create your own sentences was a genius and played a part in the day-to-day -day lives of people throughout the world. You can also that is one of the sentence after that you can use this sentence his influence prevails in the scientific community among those who worked in the fields of agriculture, horticulture, forestry and livestock. Okay. So that is one way to write such answers. So for these type of questions you don't have to study by heart. Now the poetry session 23 read the following poem and answer the question that follows. So. This is already in your text and your teacher has already completed the notes and taught you this poem. How do you say that the poet's grandmother were very strong? It is so simple. You go back to the poetry, take your pencil. So you don't need to use the exact words in the poetry because it's in metrical composition, it's in poetic form. We can say that our grandmothers were very strong because they ploughed the field and they ploughed and toiled the field, you can say that. Okay. They sowed seeds. So instead of writing they sowing seeds, you can say they sowed seeds. So you have to use the past participle for writing these type of answers. Okay. It's very simple. So how do you say that they're very strong? Our grandmothers or oh, my grandmother was, was, not were, was very strong because they plowed and toiled the fields. Full stop. Start the sentence with a capital letter and end it with a full stop. It's as simple as that. They sowed seeds and they worked very hard. So it's very simple. 24. Study the following pictures and write four to five sentences. So you follow the question. It gives you two marks. So it's so simple. You study the following pictures means you observe the picture and write four to five sentences. And don't write two or one sentence or three sentences. When it says four to five, you write four to five sentences. A sentence is a group of words that make complete sense. It begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. So that is how you will come to know how many sentences you have written. So let us see. Very simple. We see that there's a man or we see a man in the picture holding a remote control in his hand. We see a man holding a remote control in his hand or you can say there is a man holding a remote control in his hand. That is one sentence. After that 
if you want to make it very simple you can say there is a television and a flower vase on the table there is a television you should know the spelling also you shouldn't make any spelling mistake and a flower vase on the table so four to five sentences the man has his left foot on a stool s t o o l stool so uh, the man has his left foot f o o t foot on the stool like that you must create the sentence okay there are three pupils you can say or you can say three children looking at the man with the television in his head you can also write the man is sitting on a chair so that is how you have to create your sentences in the most simplest form and do not complicate make it very simple and short okay there is a man sitting on a chair you can say that full stop he is holding a remote control he has a remote control in his hand full stop his left foot is on a stool full stop there is a television and a flower vase on the table full stop that is how you begin the sentence with a capital letter and with a full stop four sentences to five sentences like that and you proceed to the next question 25 rearrange the following sentences into a meaningful paragraph and write it so it is three sentences that or four sentences that are jumbled they are not in proper order you get two marks for this question for this you must have a pencil and a rough paper and do not write on the main paper once you are sure so it is better that you use a pencil and try to do it on the rough paper or do it write it with a pencil first try to understand so we'll begin they came face to face in the middle of the bridge and started quarreling one of the goats sat down and the other goat walked over her and crossed the bridge one day two goats were crossing a narrow bridge in the forest after some time they thought of a plan to cross the bridge now here i have marked the sequence of the paragraph for this you must read the quest you must reach each of the sentences take your pencil and try to write it down on a rough so we'll begin with one day two goats were crossing a narrow bridge in the forest second goat they came face to face in the middle of the bridge and started quarreling third sentence after some time they thought of a plan to cross the bridge and fourth sentence is one of the goats sat down and the other goat walked over her and crossed the bridge once you get the sequence correct and you're very sure of such correction which is in your mind then you take your pen and neatly you would write the answer in the given space and try not to scratch and have many errors so neatly without any error without scratching using your pen you write the four sequence sentences in a sequence correctly it is very simple